Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today I will be drawing a seashell. Uh, this is also like a snail shell. So I hope you like it and I have drawn a seashell before but this is a different kind of a seashell and there are so many out there so if you want me to draw a different one let me know in the comments below and I will draw that for you for next time and I really hope you enjoy this drawing I will be using color pencils and a sharpie to draw this so this is a very easy drawing if you want to draw it with me and if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day just like this one and I also give you fun facts along the way while we draw so you can learn something while you watch me draw So as you can see now we are almost done with the drawing part like I said this is a very easy drawing to draw it's just all about coloring and how you want to color it and you can color it whichever you want uh, the way you want it because uh, seashells come in so many different colors so to give you some fun facts today I will be reading mentalfloss.com and um, it says here mollusks make only one shell so mollusks use calcium carbonate and proteins and uh, secreted from their mantles a built that to build their shells as a mollusk grows so does its exoskeleton they are among the few animals on the planet that wander around carrying with them the same body armor they had as babies the pointy tip or innermost whorl is the mollusk's uh, juvenile shell and scales rise. Day by day the mollusk's shell slowly expands making room for the soft animal growing inside. Isn't that interesting? And um, I think I said this before as well um, in my other seashell video so most of the seashells open to the right although there are some species with shells that are always sinistral or a left opening nine out of ten shells are dextral meaning they open to the right because of their rarity shell collectors go crazy for sinistral specimens scale says um, so many so that over the years uh, clandestine trades have pro prospered in fake lefties yeah I've seen those fake ones because they are considered lucky as well if you find a left opening seashell and um, the shape matters seashells can be plain and smooth thick clamshells or come uh, adorned with spikes and ridges and prostrusions. Both shapes serve a purpose. And elaborate shells come from the tropics where predation is fierce. And Jiret Vermage, professor of paleoecology, at UC Davis, an author of A Natural History of Shells, believed that mollusks in the tropics evolved these ornaments toward, uh, to ward of predators, a much better option than creating a big thick shell, which will keep predators at bay, but is also a pain to make and drag around. So there you go some fun facts so now you can see that we are done with the drawing and we're already into the coloring stage here we're just gonna add in few colors just to make it look 3d and make it look real and then that will be the drawing so if you want to make any suggestions or if you have any requests for me to draw for next time please let me know in the comments below 
and also if you have some fun facts that you would like to share about seashells let me know in the comments below as well and um, if you want to draw this and send it to me connect with me on my facebook or my instagram accounts all the information is in the description box below for you and uh, now you can see going back to the drawing so all the areas where I drew with the sharpie I'm just gonna add in color so that the sharpie lines kind of disappear and it adds to the shell and I'm also adding in darker colors as well as lighter colors just to make it look um, more interesting and they do come in so many different colors so I it's really up to you which colors you want to use and the to give you more fun facts, the patterns on shells aren't random. Recent research suggests that the elaborate colors and patterns on shells are scales, right? Um, no frivolous playthings, but important registration markers for shell making that have been subject to the force of na natural selection and have evolved over time. And in other words, mollusks might use the patterns to figure out where to put their man uh, mantles to continue making their shells. Scientists still unsure what kind of pigments the mollusks are using. And the oldest known hermit crab used an ammonite shell. There are nearly thousand species of hermit crab existing today which rely on all seashells from dead mollusks um, to protect their soft abdomens. There you go. And um, no two argonaut shells are the same, apparently. And for a long time, scientists believed that argonauts stole their thin, iridescent shells from other animals, but Jeannie Power, who invented the aquarium in 1832 so she could study ergonauts, discovered that the animals are born without shells and when they reach uh, about the size of a um, pinky nail, begins to make their shells. But unlike other mollusks, which secret their shells with their mantles, uh, which secrete their shells with their mantles, female organauts use glands in two of their arms to make and repair their shells. Male organauts don't make shells. Because of all that repair work, no two argonaut shells are the same. It's so interesting how animals evolve and how they how they do things as well if you really uh, read about different random things like what we are doing here so um, going back to the drawing you can see that we're almost done and soon I will be showing you the full color drawing so I also add a, a little bit of a um, shadow like thing at the bottom of the shell so that it enhances the whole drawing so you can do the same if you like and I'm also adding in a little bit of blue and a gray color as well. And I will show you the full color drawing shortly. So this is the full color drawing of the seashell i really hope you like it and if you do like it don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment for me and if you want to buy products with this on don't forget to check out my red bubble shop link in the description box below i have all the information uh, in the description box below and check out my red bubble shop and i have so many products and now I'm going to put some next videos for you to check out next. I hope you like those as well. And don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel. And I hope uh, you enjoy this video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.